Broken Puppet, and this is going to be a fun one today. This is going to be how to draw a scarab beetle with a woman's face coming out of it. It's a pretty fun design. I'm going to be using Procreate. You can use normal paper if you want. You can use pencils, paints, markers, whatever you want. There's only really one difference, and that's I use red uh, to sketch out with. Or normal paper, just use a normal like black or grey pencil. Because red isn't so easy to rub out. So here we go. And let's get yourself out a rough circle. Like so. And what I'm doing here is got symmetric, so both sides are going to be identical. So if you're doing some paper, just draw a line down the middle and just copy everything you do on one side on the other side. So you've got a circle there, leaving a tiny gap. Bring a line across. Curve it out, curve it up, down onto that. Let's create a little ball shape just there. Little curve coming up. Gonna create a little spike, so curve outwards, curve back in. It's a little point. I'm gonna curve this one up, bumping up, and going up quite high. So that's like the scarab beetle's head. This little circle bit here, we're going to turn into a skull. So you want two circles. Two side curves coming down. Curve up a little bit. Curve around those eyes. Create the head at the top. Bring a line in for the mouth with little circles for teeth. And now... In this section is where the face is going to be. About halfway in that circle, yeah. So about this, a tiny bit higher, be where the eyes go. This line here, a little bit lower down, that'd be where the nose goes. This line will be the mouth, and that'd be the eyebrows. So we're going to start with the nose. So we'll just bring a little curve up, curve down. Curve around. In the middle of the nose, just bring up a curve line, curving up into those eyebrow lines. Roughly where that nostril comes up, that corner, that's roughly where you want to start your eye. So we're going to create a curve coming out, curve coming back, and a curve above it. Eye inside it, little lines just coming down for the eyelashes, and lines just above for the upper eyelashes. Create a wider line just following that line we just done. Make a thicker on the inside to give our eyebrow and a mouth. It's going to feel a bit higher than I thought actually. I'm going to put it around here. So I'm going to start V shape, curve down, curve out. Curve down. I'm going to create a curve up out to the outside, just like so. Bottom lip is just going to be a nice curve. The jawline, I'm going to come out a little bit. Once we get to about here, sort of where the people is, we can start curving up, like so. Just make that a bit more angular, a bit more pointy. Just get rid of some of those sketch lines. It's going to be quite a bit of shadow just above the eye. Just create two curves here. Repeating those lines to create some hair. Another circular one just here. Repeating lines. Just there, uh, as it goes on to the outside. Now we're going to create two kind of bone shapes coming out here. With a line curving down, so that the scarab beat his legs. Just like so. And then coming here, 
So if you imagine I'm from this sort of shoulder bit, sort of curve here. So I'm going to curve outwards, come down, create a bit of bump, come back. Actually, no, I've not really found that shape, we've gone a little bit too straight with that. So create a little bit higher, curve down, curve there. Yeah, I prefer that much, much better. Now bring your little lines coming back from there. Making that initial line a bit wider, just like the tip of the wing. Create a curve line inside dip we done. Another line coming back. Little circle coming back off of that. Split that line just there. That creates the wings. And similar to the bottom, I'm going to create that kind of bone shape. And then scrap hands can kind of curve off to the top. So I'm going to create a new layer, black, hard airbrush, and just like usual, we're now going to make the outline. Nice bold black. Make sure the symmetry is on to speed things up. If you're doing this on paper, I highly recommend using something like Unipin Fine Liners. That's Unipin. Very, very good they are. That's what I normally use if I'm drawing on paper. Or if you want like a really bold outline, you could always use like a Sharpie. Especially for old school stuff. So it's building up it now. Just keep doing all that line work. Then we pretty much have the outline. So now we can add some shading. So I'm going to use soft airbrush, my black. Start with, I'm going to create like a little circle just on the shoulder. And coming down from the top, just get a nice little fade. Tiny bits at the bottom. On this side, we're going to do very similar on this side, just an ever so slightly different kind of shine. So this one, just going to bring that line down like that. 
so you've got a circular bit there, a bit more of a straight one on that side. I'm just going to blacken the hair, leaving a little white highlight in the centre of each segment. So there, a little highlight. Here, a little highlight. There, a little highlight. Raising it, but it's on the outside. Can the airbrush a bit smaller? Turn that symmetry on for a sec. Just bring that shadow line, just follow that line we initially sketched. Just a tiny little highlight down the centre of the nose. A little bit of shadow just underneath it. And just a bit of shadow around the top of the eye. Come a little bit wider of it. It's going to create a bit of shadow now, just for the cheek. Just on the lip, so that bottom part of the lip just there. A bit of black shadow. A bit of black shadow just on the corner of the lips. And a bit of shadow just at the very, very bottom. Like so. I'm just going to colour in part of those legs just there. Same with these arms. I'm just going to bring in black on all these kind of curvy areas. A bit of black just coming up dead center. A bit on the other side of their skull. And just kind of graying in that area. Just erase all those background parts you don't want. Wish I there's the top of the heads. Yep. Got a bit of shadow just here. Just in this wing part. A little bit in just down the areas of the wing. Thinner liner now. Just going to bring a little detail line, especially in this part of the wing. So just following the same kind of rough shape of the lines we did. Just like so. Just here in the shell, just going to bring in a couple of lines, just curving up. Like so. Turn that symmetry off for two seconds. So raise that part of country that highlight. Just colour in parts of the skull.
I'm just going to take off that drawing guide. And I'm not going to have full colour, I'm just going to have a little bit of a splash of colour. And center. So you've got a bread circle in there now. Just make that a test. Don't know, I'm going to make the skull bit red. Yeah, I quite like that. So, yeah, that is how to draw a really cool old school scarab beetle with a woman face coming out of it. I hope you like it. I hope that helped. Comment, like, subscribe, check out my videos. And a broken puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace.